night, let's remember Habib ibn Madahir. Habib ibn Madahir, as you know, loved Imam Hussein from childhood. He was a young person. He loved Imam, Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Habib is in Kufa and he receives a letter. And it's from Imam Hussein. And he say he was trembling to open it because he knew there is bad news coming. His wife is sitting on the table with him. Habib had just come back from the market. He had just come back from the market. And what did he go to the market for? He went to buy henna because his beard was white. He was coloring it. He bought henna. He's opening this letter. And he says, Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raju. His wife says, what is it? He says, Hussein, my master is in trouble. He is in Karbala. He has been trapped. He is calling me. So his wife says, what are you going to do? He says, of course, we're going to go. He takes the henna and he throws it. He says, why? He says, what's the use of coloring this? <laughs> this beard is going to be colored with blood now. <laughs> Habib ibn Mata, he left, leaves his house and goes with his wife and enters Karbala. Habib ibn Madahir remains steadfast with Imam Hussein. He was one of the leaders in the three. Imam Hussein built his army into three parts. The middle was Abbas, the left side was Zuhair ibn Qayn, the right side was Habib ibn Madahir. He was the leader of that contingent small army. Imagine how small it was. That was Habib. And Habib loved Imam Hussein from childhood. Habib becomes martyred on Kar Karbala. That when Habib ibn Madahir is martyred, he looks at Zuhair ibn Qayn. Zuhair says, what's your last wish? Habib ibn Madahir points to Imam Hussein. He says, don't leave that man alone, no matter what happens, until he breathes his last. Allah, 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 Allah,